Hey students, it is midterm week. Here you are uh, at the end of this week. You will be halfway through the course. So um, well done. Keep up the hard work. Um, this week we will be talking about Jonah, Hosea, Habakkuk, Nahum, and Zephaniah. So plenty of reading to do this week. Um, also, so you need to read those books. You need to read the corresponding articles in the Dictionary of Old Testament Prophecy. And you also need to read the article titled Blessings and Curses. Then, once you've done that, you want to do the normal work on the discussion forum post, uh, which is due at 11.59 on Wednesday. So make sure you get that initial post in by then. Um, respond to two or three classmates before Saturday night at 11.59 p.m. And you're gold. So you've done that. The next step is your midterm exam. The midterm exam does include multiple choice, fill in the blank, matching essay questions. Uh, no time limit on that, okay? But you must do it in a single setting. Uh, the exam must be proctored, and I want you to know that up front. You need to find someone who will sign off that you did your work um, with no extra material, okay? So someone needs to sign off that they will vouch for the fact that you did not cheat and use textbook material to answer your questions, okay? Uh, that can be very simple. Uh, just send me that person's name and contact info, and, and I'll record that, and we'll be good to go, okay? Uh, you need to make sure that that exam is finished by Saturday, 11.59 p.m. Now, here's another bit of news on that. Sometimes in these multiple choice or matching, uh, which really fill in the blank, it's fill in the blank usually that, that gives students a hard time because if you misspell something, um, it's going to count it wrong. So if you go back over your exam and you see that you misspelled, I'm going to say Abraham, and you put in Abram instead of Abraham, well, the system's going to count that wrong, okay? And so you just need to let me know what happened, and I'm happy to go in there and adjust the score. But I'm not going to go in looking for errors. So you need to be responsible for uh, looking over your assignment to make sure that you were graded properly by the system. And then let me know if there's something you think needs to be adjusted. And if I, if I notice that, you know, you spelled, you wrote Abram instead of Abraham, I'm happy to change that. But if you misspelled the book of uh, Amos as Zephaniah, probably not going to give you credit there. Okay. So uh, just let me know and we'll work through that. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, send me a message in Canvas, text me, call me 832-794-1891.